All right, another good morning. Happy Sunday. Well, it's more like the afternoon. Going a little easy this morning, but we're still working. Working on the sugar shack, putting the tin on. So I have to run to my dad's, get an impact, um, put the tin on like a screw gun. I'm charging my batteries here. I got about three of them. And this one's good. Got a Makita and Dewalt, so I'll be switching through those two, but I doubt I'm gonna go through all these batteries. It's not that much screws to put on, so. Uh, but we're gonna be uh, prepared. Got the whole family loaded up. Head off up to the bush. Okay, so we're here at the Sugar Shack, up on the roof. Just did our chalk line. So I did nine inches from the beam out so that everything is straight. Now I'm gonna try to do it at the other, well, I gotta square up the roof yet, so I'm gonna, uh, gonna measure X across and then they'll tell us where we gotta cut the end. And we have to divide everything evenly by the widths of the tin so that we get at the end of the tin and the end of the board. All right, so we just measured X on the roof and we're 31, one both ways. So we are square on the roof. Now we have to square up our sheet of tin. Square up our sheet of tin and uh, that should make it to the end square, hopefully. We'll double check as we go. Time for some tin. Well, luckily I have my girlfriend here to help me. Big thanks to Whitewater Metals for getting this tin to me in like super fast time, faster than I had planned. It's been sitting here for a couple weeks. Alright, so first sheet's up. I went uh, flush on the chalk line all the way up. And now I measured uh, at the bottom of this to here on both sides. And it's both the same. Um, I guess a visual reference would be the gap in between the, the rafter and the edge here. And that looks pretty straight. Uh, my roof is pretty damn straight, so I'll just keep going looking looking nice I like that color let's, let's get this done finally just grabbing the uh, grabbing this rope off the uh, cover off we uh, we hang it over the cover all just so we can climb up and clean it clean the snow off in the winter I need it for the roof now I don't want to fall off while I'm uh, trying to put screws in everywhere so we're just gonna take this kind of a, an old climbing rope I wouldn't trust it to climb a mountain or anything but uh, for ro roofs it's good it's starting to get a little rotten all right just screwing down a couple sections now just ran a chalk line across so I make a nice straight lines makes it look a little better better than being all squirrely so just getting that done I also took tethered my impact with this calf puller tool this is usually a well it's a strap to pull calf so i had it in the back of the toolbox on the four wheeler so instead of dropping my impact like i do like 10 times already i figured i'd do that works good you know it's a good year for calving when you have this on your impact instead of being around every single calf that comes out all right, making good progress. Sun is almost going down. Got a couple, oh, I think an hour or so, maybe two hours left. 
Um, so we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Um, we're staying true. We're, we're making each sheet uh, flush at the end here. You can really notice it. It's just at the top here, we're starting to run down because um, this, these boards on top running along aren't exactly um, uh, uh, straight because they're two parts and they kind of, I followed the, the end of each rafter and that too, it varies from, you know, inch here, inch there. So it doesn't, it's not perfect. So I'm not following it there, uh, but we are square. We're just, it's just running down instead of, you know, kinking like that. As you can see, the rafter here, we're flush all the way through. We have, I mean, yeah, it's, it's as good as you get. It's, it's running square. So, I mean, that was my biggest fear was it not being square, you know, you're getting halfway through and then it starts like going like that. And then you get to the end, it's just like sheets are like completely set, you know, obviously not like that, but I mean, that kind of, that kind of uh, way you would go if you're out of square, but it's going great. So we're having fun, just me. Bring a sheet up, lean it up against here, walk off the ladder, pull it up, make sure it's in the groove. Come down here, make sure it's flush with the other piece, screw it, come up here, screw it again, screw it again, and then follow the rib down. As you can see here, I followed the rib down and then I left, so then I do more. And then I run a chalk line just so that we can keep the screw somewhat straight. And you can see they vary a little bit, but it's not too bad. Well, one side is all done. And I just want to come inside and see it from underneath. It looks beautiful. Just don't like the screws sticking out. I was really hoping I could get uh, one inch screws. Uh, that would have done it, but I couldn't. So I'm going to have to probably cut them off, clip them off or cut them off or leave them. Probably, probably leave them for a long time and then eventually get around to cutting them off. So uh, I was going to put the drone up in the air, catch that. Oh, the sun's not going down yet. It's only four o'clock. Um, but we're gonna put the drone up and show you what the roof looks like. Look at that edge. Ooh. Perfect. I like how it comes out. It really comes out. So, so now you can see where the water was dripping. You know, then it splashes up and puts dirt all on the so with this it's gonna come out pretty far. Hopefully, if we get a good you know, once we get this grass growing here, maybe we'll have a good slope where the water will just run away and not splash. So. All right, just uh, cut the sides off. Couldn't go quite flush, but that don't matter. It's better than leaving them out there. And we just got this side to do next. We'll work on that tomorrow. What a beautiful day, like a summer day. Thanks for watching. Until uh, till next time. See you tomorrow. Thanks for everybody that watched the last video. Appreciate it.